Okay, so for part three of our demonstrations on the DIM Expert, we'll take a final look at some additional features and considerations using the DIM Expert functionality. Let's begin by opening up a part. SolidWorks prompts me, do I want to begin feature recognition on this part? So this is an example of an imported body, and you can see there's no feature history on this part, so there are no underlying features or dimensions. But the DIM Expert still works on that geometry because it uses its own feature recognition to go through and identify the various features, like the holes, the fillets, the bosses, etc. So it doesn't matter how the part was designed or whether there are any dimensions or features already present on the model. You don't have to have any, which lends itself very well to using DIM Expert for uh, getting a quick automatic full dimension scheme for imported bodies. So let's use our DIM Expert to create an auto dimension scheme plus minus tolerancing and now I just go in and pick my primary, secondary, and tertiary datums. Generally for a prismatic type part those are going to be orthogonal faces like a front top and a right or if it's a, a turn part or something that has a lot of holes you might choose one of the holes as one of your datums. In this case I'll just pick the front, right click, pick the top, right click, and the side, right click, and check mark and SolidWorks will then automatically recognize the various features and apply a dimensioning scheme. Notice the intelligence here, even though this was an imported part, it recognizes the counterbore hole, for example, and creates the proper uh, tolerance and dimension for that. Now what else you'll notice is the part shows entirely in green. That's what we call showing the tolerance status. And you'll see an icon on the DIM Expert Command Manager that toggles that tolerance status. With it being all green, that indicates a fully dimensioned scheme. I'll turn that tolerance status off and I can also use commands on the DIM Expert command manager to manually create my own location or size dimensions. So for example, let's create a location dimension along the length of this edge. When I do so, SolidWorks prompts me that that over constrains the part and we'll use our tolerance status icon to show us what features are now over constrained and you can see the the by adding this length dimension we've now over constrained the dimensions to this face so we can just delete that dimension and now our tolerance status is back to green likewise if I were to take any single dimension or group of dimensions and delete them like the whole dimension for example and show my tolerance status we'll now see those under constrained features in yellow so at this point I can manually use my size dimension icon and go in and grab the cylindrical face of the counterboard hole and SolidWorks will automatically redimension that using the intelligence of the DIM expert where it recognizes that as a counterboard hole it picks up the depth the counterboard uh, dimensions and the number of instances and applies a properly uh, dimensioned and toleranced uh, dimension annotation there for us so a great way that we can manually intervene with a dimension scheme and still guarantee that we have a fully constrained, fully dimensioned model. Remember we can export that to eDrawings. We can very easily take this to a drawing, place our drawing views using the dimension pal or the drawing palette, import our DIM expert annotations, and very quickly we can create a fully dimensioned drawing using these great DIM expert features. So I invite you to take a closer look at the DIM Expert functionality in SolidWorks, consult the online help, consult the online tutorials, and uh, if necessary, if you have questions, get with your SolidWorks reseller and uh, they'll be able to help you out with any additional questions you might have. I think you'll find some great uses for this functionality that will not only uh, help you make more accurate models, but uh, will also save you some time.